So why do we have a Christmas tree of spruce? It's because it's a sacred tree for the indigenous culture, the Sami. Why do we have red balls hanging from that Christmas tree? It's because this psychedelic mushroom would grow and be dried in those branches. And why do we put Christmas presents under the tree or sometimes above a fire? Um, it's because under the trees where the mushrooms grow and on the tree branches or on top of a fire is where you would dry them for, for purposes. I think what's fascinating about modern society is how we've commercialized and washed away a lot of our old traditions and forgotten why we celebrate what we celebrate. And I think there's no holiday in the world that is um, more misunderstood than Christmas or Santa Claus um, in particular. I think this is a, arguably Santa Claus is the world's most famous person or most famous character. It's celebrated by um, almost every religion, every part of the world celebrates Santa Claus these days, but very few people know how the, how that story came about. It just didn't come out of thin air. Like none of these stories just come out of thin air. There's a long, long process often behind them. And the story of Santa Claus is about eight to 10,000 years old. Enter a indigenous tribe, actually the the only official indigenous culture left today in Europe called the Sami. The Sami are known as the reindeer people. They live today in quite small amounts in Norway, Sweden, Finland, and parts of Russia. They are semi-nomadic reindeer herders, and um, they are actually the ones to thank for our Santa Claus traditions. So winter solstice and Christmas fundamentally are the same celebration, and Sami before, you know, being taken over by uh, the more Western religions were believing in these spirits and afterlife. And they believe that there's basically three levels of the society. There's the underworld, there's the, the world they live in, and then there's the heavens. And to talk with the underworld, which is not necessarily a negative thing, uh, such as people who have passed away, they hold a ceremony in the winter time. And the Santa Claus character is actually a sh Sami shaman called Noida. Noida is, uh, is, is a priest, um, an elder statesman, um, a healer, kind of a doctor, a messenger. And the Noida would um, use different things to heal uh, problems you would have physically, but also emotionally. And in order to conduct these ceremonies, um, the Sami and the Sami Noida would use a psychedelic mushroom called Amanita muscaria. So psilocybin is now the only type of mushroom with psychedelic purposes. There's also a more famous mushroom um, called Amanita. You might have not heard it, but you definitely know it. It's almost like Santa Claus is the most famous character in the world. This Amanita is arguably the most famous mushroom in the world, uh, but it's a mushroom nobody really knows about, but you see it everywhere. So because of the psychoactive properties of this mushroom, um, the shaman would in the fall time, around like August, September, start to collect these psychedelic mushrooms. But they, because of the water content, they spoil quickly unless dried properly. So what the shami, shaman would do is take these mushrooms and dry them ideally in sunlight by taking and collecting these mushrooms and putting them on the tree branches um, of the spruce tree and hanging them and that way sun will dry them and so you can store them for the winter solstice but also increases vitamin d from the skin of the mushroom and again if you go back to even the german time christmas images instead of red balls hanging from the christmas tree it was red mushrooms hanging from the christmas tree now winter solstice lapland or the area where these sami people live is full of snow and as said they have domesticated these uh, reindeer to travel around. So this elderly shaman would go from um, from a village to village to conduct these ceremonies with families with the reindeer. So there is an older gentleman with a big beard in a sack carrying a bag of mushrooms that are dried on a spruce tree um, going into these villages. And the Sami live in these lavus or kotas, which are like kind of semi-permanent teepees. But because it's so cold in Lapland in the winter, these uh, teepees or or kotas 
um, have a hole at the top so you can have a fire inside. That way you keep warm and a really small entrance that you kind of crawl into the kota. So if it happens, that happen often, you get a snowstorm, that entrance gets snowed in. So the secondary entrance to the Sami home would be through the top where the hole for the the chimney is so where you can have the fire and the smoke can go away so it's not that unrare that you would get snowed in and you'd have to go through the chimney inside to the to the kota to hold a ceremony with the family by using the the shaman and sometimes the the family would consume these psychedelic mushrooms to have a dream and visuals and talk to our ancestors and see reindeers fly maybe and uh, and there's a lot more of these traditions from the Sami culture that over going through Russia and Turkey and Italy and, and Germany and Netherlands and the US have altered along the way and every culture have added their own little spice to the mix. But fundamentally, the original story of Santa Claus is about a indigenous shaman healing people over winter solstice in a ceremony that celebrated death. So you could talk to your ancestors and maybe um, other relatives that passed away and gain wisdom to the new year as the winter solstice marked to the end of the year and start of a new so you could look back and get wisdom and set intentions for the new year so although i don't know could you ever commercialize a beautiful tradition more than as we've done with christmas but nevertheless the fundamental belief of having a communal moment with your family uh, looking back to the past setting intentions for the new year is quite beautiful and i think it's something we can still have in our modern day uh, winter solstice tradition and i think we can still learn a lot from the sami people even if we decide not to celebrate uh, winter solstice with psychedelic mushrooms i think the gathering of the family uh, looking into the past and setting intentions for the future uh, is a beautiful tradition that we've forgotten as we're shopping for uh, Christmas gifts and, and rushing into department stores.